Uh, in Spanish, el cajón means the box or the drawer. So we just started calling it the box. And from then on, we started throwing up the box. So everywhere we went, it was the box. So when I went to school in Montana, I went to school in Washington, anytime we were taking pictures, I was throwing up the box. I feel like people who don't live here may not may think that it's a bit more, um, it's not as fancy, it's not as classy. Um, and I don't know that that's necessarily true. I think it's less snobby. Being from El Cajon, being from this, this far east county is actually what made me the person I am today. It gave me, I think, a better work ethic. It made me more open to, to seeing different kinds of people and accepting it. At El Cajon Valley High School, we played together uh, on the same football team. And he's black, I'm Arab. Uh, our other close friend, Eric, is Mexican. My other very close friend, Digger, is white. I still got friends from when I was in like fifth and sixth grade. And just the growth, and we all are parents now. And, being able to experience like the differences, but being cool with it. I think it's allowed me to to be more diverse. I came up, I grew up in Philadelphia, and it was very segmented, right? The, you know, the Italians were in this part, and then the African Americans were in this part of the city. Not only has growing up in El Cajon made me more aware of the different cultures and and types of people that there are, I know that nothing is handed to me, and that I'm I'm proud to say that like. I came from a, a group of people that, that all worked really hard every day and they all kind of wanted the, the same things and they almost maybe worked together to, to achieve those. It was almost like a reverse love, like El Cajon was loving me and in turn I just had to love it back. I think people need to know that El Cajon is not just Cowpoke City. <laughs>